welcome in everybody we've got uh, our goblins onto uh, game number 14 and we're playing wood elves i'm pretty sure this is the same wood elf team we already played once and we played them last time and we smashed them up with a uh, morgue so we're going to take morgue again and we're going to take bomber dribbles now and ooh, bribe bias ref Bribe or bias ref if you're only getting one. I think it's bribe. I think it's bribe. It's a shame there. And we'll take the assistant coach. Yes, uh, last time Morg did an absolute number on this team, so we're pretty much relying on that same strategy again. Mm. We've won the coin toss again, so we will, as last time, take the ball first and see if we can kill enough elves to... Uh, put ourselves in a good position I mean you say those poor elves but there's every chance that the elves um, just do better than they did last time and that mighty bear tackle kills our goblins and they steal the ball and win so I don't think this is necessarily a terrible matchup for the elves it just is if Morg kicks off um, which obviously Morg does have a decent chance of kicking off against wood elves because of the whole mighty bow plus two scenario that he's got going on they are positioning very deep which is what they did last time trying to stay away from Morg Yeah, I mean, it would be, wouldn't it? You wouldn't forget that too quickly. Uh, we'll keep Bomber on the bench. Morg here. See if that can hit that one. Where's my Wrestle Goblin? There it is. Wrestle Goblin! I'm excited for Wrestle Goblin. Uh, ball Carrier Goblin. Fake Bomber Goblin. Chainsaw Goblin, Stomping Goblin. I do like the variety of goblins, like your roster's got so many different things on it, it's fun. Fun game last night. I didn't have time to spin and play a live game, so I threw on a campaign match for kicks. The opponent comes pre get built with Griff and had enough in use of money for Morg and another Griff. <laughs> Two Griffs! I've heard of like the Highlander rule to stop, like in, in lots of tabletop tournaments, there's a Highlander rule, so if two different teams take the same star player, they can't both have him. I've never heard of one team taking the same star player twice. That's definitely. Uh, something and that's great we start the ball with, start the drive with Hector catching the ball already that's amazing and Morg rolls a pal on the first hit this time she didn't last time and that is an immediate KO it's not a Kaz but we'll take it okay let's just start Knock over the tree, that's great. That's a very good chance of following this tree. Once they decide if they want to stand firm or not. I actually thought that was Fend, not Dauntless, which I now realise it is, so I was expecting to get Fended, which didn't happen in that case, because it couldn't. Classic. Yeah. 
Far enough back to see on the ball. Stump. Nice. Okay, that makes um like the one threat to Morg is that that um, tree gets a hand on him, so that pretty much takes out the the main risk of Morg going wrong. That is a frenzy goblin, yes. We've done random uh, general skills on our goblins. We've got a block goblin and oh no, dead bomber. I think I might just stop rebuying the bomber. I'm very sorry, and I'm sorry to Freezing Star, but I, I think the rusted bomber just isn't worth having. I like the idea of it, but the idea of it relies on it getting skills, and in practice, like I keep saying, in practice we're just inducing bomber dribbles, not who's better. So I think we're going to give up on the rusted bomber dream. one stomping target there. But let's see if we can get a line off. I'm gonna go for the rest one, don't I? going on here? Didn't even die. She not done anything there because there was a simple stuff in there. Um, See, it's not automatic that Morph just kills everything first hit, <laughs> as we see. Last time he did, he did some really good, strong early work. And if he doesn't, their mighty bow can just as easily do that to us. Like this, yeah, last game they were quite unlucky with their mighty bow. This is pretty tempting now. I think we even go for this with Morgue. I think we go for this with the Chainsaw. Chainsaw, don't have to worry about the bludge. We're rolling for a 5 plus. Which inevitably fails. It's a bit sad. is uh, terrible spinning. It's 
Not a good reroll, but at least it did work. friend for you is bad. It's all bad. This is all, all bad. Can't foul because I need you to cover the back. Mm, well, at least if you block this and don't blitz it, you're staying next to Morg, which is a pretty big risk. Are you going to come and fit on the ball? I do. Four plus. Oh, you roll the pushes and get friends and get off more. Boom. That's worked out for them. If that had been a knockdown, they would have seen it next to Morg. Ooh, but they don't knock it down. It's been a real... Can knock it down, see it next to Morg. Okay, so they're going to let me hit that with Morg. That's a trade. The trade, at least I can live with some upside for me there. Going for the ball, not going for the ball, going for this, okay. Yeah, this is this is more like what I thought would happen the first time. Like, if you don't just delete the L's like we did first time, this matchup can actually be quite difficult. Because they've got good L's. I'm not sure I would go to that one because it's just keeping the trail and making it this bit. And I can three dice this, which I want. Get power on the third dice. Let's go, Morg. I'm following. I don't know if I am, actually. What? Didn't even break armor. That's bullshit. Bullshit. This is going how I want it to. There's absolutely nowhere I can take this where it's going to be safe. It's my own fault, but still not happy about it. Yeah, you, this is the problem, like, wood elves, if you don't delete them, will bully the hell out of goblins. So, yeah, it went well the first time for us when we just deleted them, but if we don't delete them, problems. Mm. Oh, freezing star, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's 
I wonder if Tree has ever noticed that Widows are refused to her quite annoying. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I am upset we didn't break armor on this one. That was a mighty blow plus two. So we actually, we've had two goes at this. One was with a chainsaw, so that's plus three. One was with mighty blow plus two, and neither of them broke armor. That is quite unlikely. In, in fairness to me, that is quite unlikely to not break armor on either of those. To not at least get a stun out of it. Doesn't put the rerun into that head. The problem with Freezing Star at the moment is that this season is goblins and halflings, so everyone's channel points can go quickly. I'm seeing. Hmm. I really want to do splits for more though. Just to not be wasting him. Oh, that's a dodge. Whoops! <laughs> do not do that. Very nearly missed that dodge completely. I swear if there's ever an option to hit my own player, I always manage to do it. That's the wrong one. I was hoping to hit the other one of my players so I could push it off and not have to dodge. Oh well. Um, we stop there. Need more damage. Need more murder. I should have vomited that one. But we didn't. Hmm. Yeah, that was another morgue, another morgue break knocked down with no armor break. Which it's like it's a six plus to break armor. Like it's pretty unlikely not to get the armor breaks. Mm. Well, it's also pretty unlikely not to knock down our chainsaw, so that's nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I have bomber for defense. Bad dog. We also had a rostered bomber to start the game, so it's like it's it's like there's only so much bomber you want on the pitch. I think we're going to stop having this rostered bomber though now. I think we've decided it's it's not doing enough. So yeah. But putting two bombers on for offense felt excessive. A lot of pushes this turn. It does put the reroll on that one, which I get why it's a pretty valuable piece. But it does take them down to one reroll. And they don't break armor either. Okay, everyone's got pillow fists at the moment, that's good for us. Well, it wasn't good for us last time, but it's good for us this turn. <laughs> it's good for us right now. I'm just tagging it. Morg to stop him from running around. There's only one word to say. Okay. Force him to go somewhere. Stop. What do we do another one? And stop. I think we're gonna see if we can get lucky on this. No. It's fine. Um, it's not good, but it's fine. That's bad. I really need that to be at least a push. I didn't need to be a power, but I needed to be at least a push. Okay, well, we've got some problems again. Here's a theme for us. Just randomly trying to cause violence now because I don't really know how to fix this now that Mork and uh, the Fnatic have both failed in their respective missions. Um, I don't think I've got a good fix anymore. Somewhere. Oh, that was also good. So at least now they have to use their blitz. But we've got no one left to do a foul with. The thing is, like the tree removal is nice, but actually it would be much, much better to have removed any of the elves. <laughs> like the tree would most likely get left behind anyway, whereas the elves are a big problem for us. <laughs> mm. And we've had a lot of goes at the elves with Mighty Blow and Dirty Player and all of those things, and we just haven't managed to do any damage at all. This is looking like another loss. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mad Caddy. Hi, Cyanide. I'm just frustrated. Like, we've chainsawed that war dancer and we've hit it, powered it with Mighty Weapons 2. Like, 
we really like we're not asking for something crazy to have hoped that we would have at least stunned it on one of those so it feels kind of rough that we're now that, that literally that player is what caused us to lose the ball Morg do something. Less than we would like, but it's something. A removal, I'll take it. It's our own place, so we just shove it. I'm not even going to take that one. I shall get this foul up on the thrower because the thrower is obviously a threat for them getting this touchdown. Is good. Means they need it for the second half as well. That is something good that happened. Um, let's see if we can get this to activate. We cannot. I think we just leave the rest where they are. I was saying it during the last game, just kind of thought the problem is just like with goblins, like a little bit of bad luck feels like a lot of bad luck because with goblins you need the luck. Whereas with normal teams you might get away with a bit of bad luck. With goblins, if you're not getting any luck, it's very hard. Um and especially against wood elves, the only way you're gonna win with wood elves with goblins against wood elves is to is to murder them. Like you're, there's no way you're going to be goblet beat wood elves with goblins if you don't remove them. Cause um because it's not like orcs or something where you might um, be able to like rely on the dodging or whatever. Like they're better, at, they're better at that than you are. So it really does rely on can you do some damage. Reroll unless you're mad because you've got a score. Okay, they've got a scoring chance and they've spent their reroll on a going to hit a goblin. I'm very confused by that decision. Let's see, now you've got no reroll to try and do what's going to have to involve at least a four plus pass somewhere in the chain to, to get this. Very odd, odd choice. If I can do one rush on that, I can make the catch harder there as well. another three dice on you. Let's see if we can get something. I 
Okay. We've got some dice roll here without a reroll. It could work. But I think they've definitely not made it easy, right? Like if they want to do a handoff and pass, then that's a four plus, four plus, four plus. The pass will be at least a four plus. It could work, but the odds are against it. The odds are against it, so. I think they could have been more aggressive going for the score here. I understand wanting to keep that ball safe, having stolen it, but I think if I was the Wood Elves, I would have wanted to look for their touchdown on this drive, not just the, uh, not just the, uh, no, no. That's nice. That's very nice if it stays out. Okay, random double spell into removed ward answer. Successfully, we like that. Oh, it was a one into a six because of the uh, bribery corruption. Very nice. Blood boner. We will fail. I'm, I'm not going to spend the bribe on that. The Fnatic on defense isn't going to be that good against what else. Uh, the ward answer did stay out. That's good. They've got the better ward answer, but they're down to one ward answer, so that's definitely helpful. Uh, let's get Morgan. Let's get the bomber on. Yeah, we definitely like that. And no uh, tree here on the line is really nice as well. I'm going to chevron again like we did last time. Because they might just go for the quick score to get us off. I'll work out who goes around in a second. I'm just getting the shape first. Okay, so... Uh, chainsaw and bomber need to be protected. Probably put more than line here, I think. You can come inside and you can come inside. So we've got those options either side. Pop you back. That looks like a formation. <laughs> Alright, so how many elves are we actually dealing with now? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Stop moving. One, two, three, four. It's eight. <laughs> Bloody elves moving about the place. They're always doing that, elves. They're always moving. They could just stay still. Ooh, we got the free reroll. That's nice. We both rolled a six. And we got the reroll because we had the assistant coach. So three rerolls. Very nice first drive. Going straight for the father. Don't blame you. Okay, well, that was a risk of the setup, but he knew why we did the setup. I'm okay with it. We had our reason for doing it, which is that we didn't want them to just quick score without having to make that a little bit harder for them, so. What are we going for here? Get the ball straight to this one? Or are we going to... Yeah, this looks like we want a sideline on this, which is definitely asking for trouble a bit, the bomber right there. That was that was the thinking of putting bomber on the same side as that one. Because that was a tempting blitz target, but then you've got bomber to hopefully make it scary for them. They're 8 or 18, they move around so much, you never know exactly, exactly, Jukes. Who would play elves? Honestly, I can't imagine such a person. I can't imagine what sort of person plays elves. Monsters. To pick up on this one, yeah. So I'm gonna have to this. Not sure about that, so yeah. Okay, interesting. You've returned, Thulian. Have you returned with a three plus for us? It's very important that wherever you've been, you've brought a three plus back for us because we're going to need a three plus in a second. It's going to be a very important three plus. Not yet. Don't use it too soon. 
they've still got some dice to roll first. But just be ready with that three plus when I need it. Taking more. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw a bomb here. And I'm going to need a three plus for that. Let's let Mog do a three dice block first, because why not? Burn two ones there, very smart. Move some players in case this all goes wrong. Which, why would it? Why would it ever go wrong? Okay, now I need that three, please. Three me, chat. It's a six. We like a six. Oh, no more sixes, though. No sixes here. They've caught it, and now we can use Kaboom. A completely fair and balanced rule. Um, we have to one dice this, don't we? I haven't blitzed yet, have I? I'm going to try to blitz here and see if we can vomit to free that one up without doing a dodge. Let's see some good vomit from Shepard. It's not the good vomit we wanted. Still. Still. One dice here. Oh, we just used a blitz. Shoot. No one dice here. Whoops. Maybe I should have planned that better. All right, this is all fine. Totally fine. Can we still put that in there? Now we just have to do two dodges, which is going to be fine. People don't fail dodges. Chat, you remember when I needed that three before? I, I might need two more of them. Just two more of your threes, please. Two more. Threes. Two threes. Nicely done, chat. I appreciate your work. Okay. Do we go one more? Probably. Hmm. And if so, in which direction? We're just away from this, right? Because that can clear that. I'm not going to lie, chat. I wasn't convinced you were going to do that for me. And the fact that you did, I appreciate it. Now we need a running troll. Very nice. Do we push our luck and go one more? I mean, the thing is, whatever we do, they're going to have pretty easy access to a two plus to hit this ball. In fact, we can just get it from there. So I think we stop and just hope that they don't get it so far away that we can't get it back again. No more threes, chat. Now only ones this turn. Just ones for our opponent. Hmm. Shepard, thank you so much for the uh, 29 month resub. Dropping the kaboom for us. Oh my god, I did get the one as well. Instant full one for our opponent. Into pushes. He has to read all this. We rolled into double skulls. Brutal. Our opponent may concede again. They conceded last time we played them, and this is now a sad time for them. That's super unlucky. Um, what are we doing about it? I think we just run you far off that way to start off with. And then we think about what we can do after that. I would very much like to surf this, which I think could be possible. But first, we probably want to punch this with Morg. Put this here so it can move into that one as well afterwards. That can't hit us. These could hit us, so we've got to deal with that in a second as well. But first, we'll hit you with Morg. Good job, Morg. 
Mork hasn't been doing so much violence, but do you know what? I can live with it here for now. We could roll it. I think we might have a hard time surfing this now, though. Which is a bit sad. If we can one dice that, it becomes much more possible, but we need to prioritize this. These are not spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. Shishirosti, so much. Thank you so much for the spirit fingers. A hundred bits. Go goblins. Go goblins. Uh, if we can red dice into here, then we can serve this one answer. Oh, the audacity. The absolute audacity. Uh, Shizurasti, thank you so much for the hundred bits here. And of glory, thank you so much for the prime sub. The absolute audacity. I mean, it's still, we've still got to do one nice, but never in doubt. Never in doubt. Uh, the ball is not entirely safe, but we have got the uh, mighty bow water answer off the pitch, which is pretty nice. Uh, did I say thank you, Off Glory, for the prime sub? Thank you, Off Glory, for the prime sub as well. Hmm. We've got a hype train going. Hype train. 68% towards the level 200. Mm. And who would not be hyped about these goblins once again doing monstrous things to these wood elves? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can just hit it. Like it's just it's just dodging to the ball. There's nothing complicated about it. But at least it's just for their regular dodge linemen. They're not going for that. They're going for killing the chainsaw. They're sick of the chainsaw's nonsense. Hmm. And they do kill it. Now they're going to serve the bomber as well. So they've got rid of two weapons there, which is pretty good for them. Bomber Drill's not as KO. But they've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the pitch. We've got nine still, I think. No, we've got eight. So actually, the numbers aren't so good for us right now. Obviously, we will try and stall this as long as we can because once we score, War Dance is going to come back on. Or at least they'll have a chance to. Um, but yeah. We've got to at least try to go slow here if we can. Dodge is all in. Didn't look very nice. Dodge is all in. Oh, that makes that hard. We might have to score. There might not be a stall here. There really might not. To be honest, I was relying on hitting that catcher. I think maybe we just have to score. We've still got one bribe, which might keep Bomber around. Let's do the puke here since it can't turn us over. And then a running puke. Oh well. All right, we're just going to score. You know what? A draw against half against Wood Elves is already a win, really. So we'll take the touchdown. And we'll hope they roll bad on the KOs as well. Uh, but my draw's not argued cool. No, we can't use the bribe because we rolled a one on the argue the call. Okay, so Bomber's gone. Well, we might as well use the bribe on... Uh, oh, the KO'd. There's no one else left though, so you might as well run it on this one. So we uh, do get side done for that. That's good. 
sad donkey, but no bomber. No bomber does make things worse. And they've got both of... This is probably a draw now, right? Like, they've got both of all dancers back on. Um, but we will see. We will give it a go, as always. Can we do that now? Make a mug the threat since Bomber's not around to be the threat. Bloody elves waking up from KOs. Rude. Morg hasn't had any casualties this game. He has not matched his output from the last game at all. But yeah, I, th I think you have to take the touchdown there as goblins. Like it's it's too risky like to go for a a stall against elves. Uh, that is no one won the brilliant coaching that time. So they're back to nine. We start the drive on eleven. The good news is, if they do score, we still have a one turn try. Oh, thank God. I thought they'd kill Fakaturk for a second. Still sad to lose them, but at least they came back. I was worried that that was just a dead character kid. We did not need. Hey, you're right, Oh, we're going to dauntless. We're going to dauntless against this troll. Brave Bassiden fancies their chances. Oh, no, it's a. Uh, Dauntless are one there, so not so risky. Fails the Dauntless, so it is a one nice. Just a push. Which is nice, means we'll get that she hits someone with troll. Until the troll rolls a one. more ones than we would like. Mm. We don't have a bomber, but we do have a strong arm troll who could always try and throw a, a goblin missile at cage if we need to. Definitely a possibility. try and sideline here. Could be a uh, shepherd's moment to just pick up a goblin. I love that we could even use it with Morg, but I think we should probably try and save Morg's special ability for the one turn. Because it's a very good special ability for one turning. Going for the handoff. Doesn't even roll a one. Got a dancing. Sidestep here is annoying, otherwise we could have stunty surfed. Nice. Okay, goblin missile. Who is it? Darth Otter? Is Darth Otter still here? Otter? I believe in you. 
I believe in you, the missile that we need you to be. Not stupid. Hungry. Shit. It's probably not worth a reroll, is it? <laughs> it's probably not worth a reroll. Uh, all right. Well, it wasn't your fault, Archer, so I have to let you off. This one in the face. Come on, Morg. Do a murder. He really doesn't feel like doing a murder today. It's just not not on his agenda for today. He's got so many fun things lined up, but doing a murder, not one of them. I'm going to stomp on this one just because I want to. Haven't fouled anything in a while. Feels wrong. Nice. So they could just go in. Give me a three turn drive. But also gives them time to try and turn over and win. So not necessarily a bad strategy with what else. Use the with that. that was Shepard, not Ode, because Shepard has the strong arm. Yes. It looks like we're going to three dice here, I see. Big pals. So, playing for a win or playing for the draw? If you're playing for the win, you got to score now. It's a rush, actually, so it's a little uncomfortable. Playing for the win. Gets it. All right. All the marbles. All the marbles. And I can't argue the call because I've been thrown out as coach, so that's gone. They got a KO back, so they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think we've still got eleven. Oh, but we're missing our best ball carry, I forgot that. Oh, it's a little scary. We've got two rerolls, but we're playing against what else and we're out of weapons. This definitely could go either way. I had forgotten that we'd lost uh Crack Turkid. Is a thing. So, I'm going to maximize our hits, as always. There's no blitz. Solid defense. Not a blitz, but still not good. I mean, at least they can't, like, bully us on the line, can they? Because what are you going to do? You still what else? Hmm. Scary couple of turns coming out now. Scary couple of turns. But I think now they just move, maximise the... Okay, they're going to base up. Not... Well, I don't know, I guess I can see the side of that. I can see the side of that. Not necessarily what I would have gone for. certainly work. I 
Good means I get to move. Really wasn't doing much damage today, Morg. I say today. I mean this game, obviously, like today, includes the last one. She did lots of damage. Um Can I vomit here? Shepherd, vomit please. Does vomit ever work? Because because it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> It doesn't feel like it ever works. Mm. I appreciate not turning over, but I also like need to knock things down sometimes. Quick and easy. Terrible turn. <laughs> like seriously, like vomit is just, it's so good in theory, but like you have to sometimes roll an A plus for it to do anything. Having a safe action is nice, but you need to have an action that has an impact. in so much trouble. Oh, that's the really bad one. That's the one we really couldn't afford. Because my play, whole play in the end there was just get to Morgan, and let Morg throw us. And now I can't even do that. Um, yeah, we're stuffed. We are stuffed. Try to dodge in and let Morg throw us anyway. That was genuinely my whole play. That was the whole plan. This is not good. So we're all clear. I don't think this is a good strategy. It's just I haven't got anything else. I 
haven't got any other plans, so I'm doing what I can. Like at least that's a minus four leap. Or you go in this way and it might scatter well. There's nothing good here. Because if I don't, if I uh, fill the line, it's a leap surf, it's not even a leap surf. Because he's got frenzy, he just, if I fill that gap, all he has to do is to put someone here, come around the top and you frenzy surf it. At least this is a hard leap. If I make a line there, it's an easy chain push. There was there was no good square. At least this is a minus four. I think you're probably better off taking it from there, which is a th uh, three plus. If you go in this way, it's a five plus, which can fail. Probably won't, but it can. Okay, going that way. Didn't even use a leap, use a dodge. Okay, this is going to be well made. Doesn't knock us down. Well, saved by the block dice. Saved by the block dice. That's unlucky for them, to be fair. That's unlucky. I think in their shoes I wouldn't have committed quite as many players here cause, because you might have needed to recover and get the ball here, which wouldn't necessarily have been straightforward, but... Okay, so now what's our options? What is our options? Is it still just basically like ask Morg to yeet and hope? Morg with a minus two? It's kind of hard to see how it would be any better. Because this is turn 16, haven't got anyone here we could throw. Morg, I need a six and I need it. Amazing scatter. Could I block this? No one's strong enough except for Morg. Six me. That's definitely not going to do it. Special star player rule. Still doesn't do it. <laughs> Well, we tried. We got a draw. We got a draw against these Wood Elves. I mean, probably like to play those Wood Elves twice and get a win. The draw is pretty good, really. Um, yeah, I said at the start, like we just we needed to do more damage than that to have a chance against that team. Like once we had the two board answers off, it was looking good for a second. But because they got us back on even numbers, I think I think the not storing was right. Um, and then just yeah. It's, with, with those two war dancers on the pitch, like your, your goblins, they've got war dancers and we've lost all our weapons so we can't hurt them anymore. Um, so yeah, we'll take it, we'll take a draw. Well, that's what ogres can do with the kick and the punt, isn't it? Uh, Magic up, they can do their one throw teammate and one kick teammate. It gives them a bit more options. Uh, Raven is just MNG, Cobblestorm can roll a level. Sure hands. I don't hate it. It's a bit complicated because we have Krakatoa Kid as the ball carrier, but I'm going to keep it. Because some drives I really want that sure hands. I am worried we're starting to spend too much on our goblin costs here, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Because we're not appoing. We haven't got any appo, so things can die. Thank you for the follow, if that was just then. Krogs are welcome to the stream. Uh, so, the trolls yet, I mean, honestly, like, I'd, we are on 14 games on this team now, right? 
Trolls start with Mighty Bow. I don't know if anyone knows this. It's a little known fact about trolls. They have this skill called Mighty Bow, which should make them better at killing things. It's very, uh, very few people realize that about trolls uh, because uh, we had Ode to Joy cause one casualty. Shepherd has caused uh, two casualties. Jlev so far is on zero casualties. So our three Mighty Bow pieces in two game in 14 games have caused three casualties <laughs> 14 games two trolls i mean three if you want to count it that way but effectively we've always had two on the roster three casualties they have been so useless <laughs> they've been so bloody used to the trolls i can't even like it's just not normal um, the Fnatic only having one casualty as well is frustrating. Like, I'd really like to get some useful levels on these rather than just have the Goblin ones, but has not been the way of this team. Um, we need to add two Goblins for the next game because we've got an MNG. I'm not buying the Bomber anymore. The Bomber, I've decided, it just hasn't done enough. Like, we've basically not used it as a Bomber ever because we've always got Dribble Snart, so... Um... So we're going to do, one of these gets a real name, the other one will be Guinness, because they might be temporary. I feel like they're like less than meh, Maddie. I feel like they're like actively bad. Sometimes I really think that goblins would be better off just playing cheap without the trolls, because they, they don't do anything. Like, they really don't achieve anything for the team. Like, maybe they do sometimes, but it feels like in this whole run, I could count on one hand the number of good actions they've had. And I could count on many hands the amount of turnovers and bad ones they've rolled on stupids. And would I just have been better off with a team having a lower team value and not having them in the way? It starts to feel like that. <laughs> They're cage corners. I mean, yeah, in theory. We played a dwarf game though where they both got cast out by turn three. So <laughs> they don't even do that that well. <laughs> um... Uh, right, Guinness for this one. I just, I don't know. Maybe I just have rotten luck with trolls, but I find them just consistently awful. Um, but we persist. We persist with the trolls in the hope that one day we will get a good game out of one of them. Um, thank you for uh, watching these games. If you're watching on YouTube, we're up to game 14. I, I I, am starting to get to a point with this run where I'm feeling like if we're just going to tread water forever, maybe maybe we will grind to a halt. Um, I'm going to aim to get to at least 20 games. Um, I started off the run saying let's see how high we can get them, but we're really not winning many anymore. We have got draw, loss, win, draw, loss, win. So only two wins in the last seven, in the last eight, in the last nine, two wins in the last nine. It, it feels like it's it's lost all the momentum it had at the start and that's kind of kind of maybe going to get to a point where it's just it's too much grind for me but for now if you're enjoying that on YouTube do hit that like and subscribe <laughs>